Hello my little sweet potatoes and welcome to SnackTube and it's a new theme on SnackTube. From now on we're going to be doing vegan Sundays. That's right, every single Sunday review will be a vegan item. I'm just messing with you. I couldn't do that for the life of me. I just couldn't do that. It might happen by accident sometimes, but uh, God, no. However, we do have a vegan item for you today. Uh, this is from Tesco's Wicked Kitchen range. This is their sweet potato and three bean chili. A Texas inspired heartwarming veg chili with rice, great on its own or served with tortilla chips. Don't have any tortilla chips, so I'm just gonna eat it straight out the carton like an animal. So Wicked Kitchen, I've reviewed a one or two of their things on here already before. I can't remember how many. I know I definitely did one which was uh, so, some sort of pot macaroni. Was it macaroni? I think it was I think it was vegan macaroni. And it was like a pot and it ended up being crunchy. It wasn't cooked through. It was it was awful. So I figured I'd go with something safer, something that's more likely to just be okay anyway. You don't have to add anything to this. You basically just bung it in the microwave for two and a half minutes and it's good to go. And I've had uh, chilies in this sort of a container pot before and they've been quite good so hopefully this will be delicious we'll soon find out so yeah they've got a huge range of stuff in the wicked kitchen uh they've got like snacks like peanuts and crisps and things they've got stuff in the fridge section like fake fake uh, duck and i don't know i may, might be making that up but yeah it's all vegan stuff anyway all their wicked kitchen stuff is all vegan so they've got a, a lot of different ranges in tesco which basically just their own brand but they put a funny brand on it to make it seem real I don't know they're clever like that so anyway this is a sweet potato and three bean chili let's have a look and see I want to know what these three beans are uh, da, da, da. mixed beans red kidney black-eyed beans and black turtle beans mm, yummy suitable for vegans Three bean chili and sweet potato with cocoa powder and cocoa powder and a paprika rice topping. Hmm. It honestly looks like it's mostly rice. So this you make it in the microwave, takes two and a half minutes in the microwave, and boom, done. Pretty straightforward. Can't remember how much it was. Um wasn't that expensive though. Tesco's own brand stuff tends to be okay priced. Slightly priced higher than Asda's own brand stuff, I would say, just because. <clears throat> We're trying to get away with it looking being a real brand and not just Tesco. Got the Pepsi Max for cooling down the spice today. Hopefully it won't be too spicy. So there's all your ingredients if you wanted to have a wee look. It's not a huge list of ingredients. Um, white rice, mush there's mushroom in it as well. Beans, red pepper, sweet potato, onion, tomato puree, chickpeas, corn flour, spices and stuff. Uh, 300 grams, store in a cool dry place. It's got quite a long shelf life because this has got until March 2023 and I bought this a few months ago and just haven't eaten it yet. So I'd say they've got almost a year shelf life, which, which is good. So you can buy lots and keep them in the cupboard if you need to for uh, in case the apocalypse happens, which uh, feels like it might be happening any day now, the way things are going. So nutrition, let's go through the nutrition. They've got the handy stuff on the front, which is good. And that's... Uh, each pot. So each pot contains 283 calories. Pretty low. That's not bad for a wee lunch or something. That's that's alright. Have that with a packet of crisps uh, or, or, or some tortilla chips as it suggests. And uh, yeah, I think that'd be a pretty decent lunch without going too calorific. 7.5 grams of fat, 0.9 grams of saturated fat, 10.2 grams of sugar and 1.6 grams of salt. So it's about a quarter of your salt intake, which it probably has to be if it's vegan. You have to add lots of salt to get it to taste like anything. But um, apart from that though, all the, everything else is quite low, including the calories, so not bad. Alright, well, let's have a look at this bad boy and see what it looks like. So this is quite hot, so I need to hold it by the edges and I might ooh, ooh, do this. But yeah, there you go. It comes in a white pot, there's a bit of film on the top, you peel the film back and boom. So, yeah, looks uh, looks like the normal slop that chilli looks like. Seems to be peppers in there, yep, yeah, you've got your beans, lots of rice. Now that I've stirred it up... Um, all the rice seemed to be on top. I think that was the idea. I don't know. Maybe it cooks better if the rice is on top and the stuff's underneath. Maybe that's your uh, microwave food engineering. I don't know. 
any microwave food engineers in the comments, let me know. Uh, but yeah, looks like chili, looks like chili with rice through it, so smells okay. I think this will be quite nice. Right, well, let's do it. So this says Wicked Kitchen, Sweet Potato and Three Bean Chili from Tesco. Let's give it the old taste test, shall we? I'm not even putting any in my mouth yet. I'm already spilling it. It's hot. Oh, my, my nice white table as well. I say nice. I've had this table since I moved in. Belonged to the previous owners. And it's, it, it works. You know, it's a table. It does tabley things. But I just don't, I don't like it. It doesn't fit with my new room. My room's got like blue balls and stuff and it's really nice. Apart from this ugly ass table. A new table is on the agenda once I, you know, once I get a new job. Mm -mm. Okay, well, I like chilli, right? I do love a chilli. And um, I don't tend to make it myself very often. I don't feel I'm good at making chilli. I don't know why. There's something about the chilli that I make. It's just not that great. Uh, my pal Paul made a chilli a few weeks ago, which is was absolutely banging. I had the leftovers for my lunch the next day. Um, and to be honest, if I'm buying chilli, the one I always buy is the Asda Smart Price one. So it's like 80p, I think, a can, something like that. It's less than a pound for a can. And quite honestly, that's everything you want from a chilli. It's... It's got a bit of kick, it's tasty, it's beefy, it's got all the veggies and the spices and stuff. So it's really nice. So the canned one is what I would try and compare this to. I'm not going to compare it to a homemade chilli because a homemade chilli is going to be better, obviously, right? It's missing the beef. That's about the only thing I could say. It's nice. It's got, it's sort of tomatoey. It's got the spices. It's got a good bit of kick to it but not too much which is nice you can you can sort of taste the peppers the beans are in there but it's just like having kidney beans in a normal chili i wouldn't say that the beans add anything flavor wise really they're more for texture um and i think having the rice in there is <laughs> I probably would prefer not to have the rice. You know, I'd rather just have a big bowl of the actual bean chilli. Because um, while it's nice to put rice, chilli on rice, I think by having all the rice in here, all it does is it waters it down. Not watery, not like water, but you know what I mean? It kind of thins it out. It takes um, the intensity of the flavours away. Mellows it. Not too much, but it does mellow it a little. Um, and I think... For me, well, for a vegan, that's probably dynamite. Like, it's, it's really nice, but it, it's missing the beef. Like, I'm really wanting the beef flavour, but it's not in there. But still, nicely spiced. Plenty of flavour. Um, decent enough texture. You know, it's, uh, it's the, the chilli itself is quite thick. The beans have the lovely bit of texture. I love beans. Um... So yeah, for what it is, as a vegan chilli, very, very nice. I would definitely recommend it. If you're a vegan and you like chilli, have a go. It is very nice. But, ah, uh, needed that, sorry, the spice just hit me there. <laughs> but as a meat eater, who loves a meaty chilli, um, I'm going to stick to the canned stuff. The, as the smart price canned stuff, I think that stuff's better to be honest. But that is still quite nice. So yeah, it's decent. I wouldn't uh I wouldn't knock it. Because it's vegan, tastes like a vegan thing. So yeah, can't. I'm not getting any of the sweet potato though. I'll, I'll say that for it. I'm, I'm not really tasting the sweet potato. Well that'll do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications and let me know in the comments 
what you think. Have you had the Wicked Kitchen sweet potato and three bean chilli? Are there any particular things in the Wicked Kitchen range that you've had that were buying and you think I should try it to give my opinion? Because I'm really trying with Wicked Kitchen to, to like their stuff because they're cheap and they're vegan. You know, they're ethically good, but I want it to taste nice. I'm not going to just go vegan, have vegan stuff for the sake of it being vegan. I'm going to have a vegan thing if it's actually nice. Or if it saves me money, because <laughs> I'm very poor right now. I, need, I really need to, I need to be saving money where I can. Well, that'll do for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Catch you then.